Today let's talk about binder systems for your planner pages. Now, I know in the past I haven't really talked about these and in fact, I have never really been a fan of them, but for really good reasons. So we'll talk about that today as well as the fact that I do believe they're gaining in popularity. So if you are looking for a way to stand out or maybe a new product line to add to your planners, then I think this is going to be a really good solution for you. So let's talk a little bit more about that and what's going on. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturday. Now today's kind of a combination because I did pick up a lot of the Erin Condren Kaleidoscope products as well as just some other stuff that we'll go through in an unboxing later. But I did want to talk about the binder systems. And the reason I think that they are gaining in popularity is because people are looking for options on customization. Now, if you purchase a planner from Plum Paper, they do offer the ability as well as Golden Coil to add in some pages that they have pre-designed, say a fitness tracker or a to-do list or possibly a shopping list. And that's really great but you can only incorporate say one page or maybe whatever their set number is. And some people want a little bit more flexibility than that, as well as to print out and add their own pages. Now, not only are more and more people buying printers today, but they also have silhouettes and they have crickets and they also have special things they want to print out that have nothing to do maybe with planner pages. They maybe want to create a scrapbook or like me, maybe you're an author and you want to create a book by Bible or a series Bible and your book pages probably have nothing to do with any pre-made stock pages. So I do believe binder systems are a great option for that as well as some people just like the ability to take pages in and take pages out so that their binder planner is heavier or lighter than maybe whatever they need for that particular day, month, or whatever they want to carry around in their bag. So this I think is a great option as well as, you know, you never know what people like or don't like. So I think adding a, a bring binder system like this is a great idea. Now, here's the downfall and the reason that I personally don't like them and haven't really talked about them a lot is these uh, binder rings have to line up perfectly in order for the pages to turn very smoothly and also for it to close correctly. And they're so easy to get ruined. Um, so even right now you can tell these are not, uh, the way this is designed, it is not a perfect circle. So what I mean by it's not a perfect circle is it kind of has a little apex here and they don't close correctly. And I don't think it's low quality, it's just simply the nature of these binder coils. And that is also something that people will find frustrating. And as beautiful as your pages may be, just like the Erin Contra new Kaleidoscope colorful pages, people will just assume it's a crappy planner because their pages aren't turning correctly, they're getting stuck on the binder coil. So that's a big reason why I am always hesitant to advise people to only have a binder system. Now, the other thing too, if you notice, she has two rings here, four here, two here. I actually think that's cute and it looks very nice. It very much mimics what you see inside of the zipped folios or the ones that have a snap closure that are usually uh, leather or vegan leather. And that is going to be an issue because if you want to add, if you're and customer wants to add their own pages, they're going to have to buy your ring binder punch system. And they may be a little uh, hesitant to do that, annoyed that they have to do that. Plus the pages are already custom sized to your specific binder, like the Erin Condren one. So something to think about, you know, unless you have a Cricut or a Silhouette, or you want to take the time to slice those pages so that they match perfectly, it could annoy people versus over here we have a standard eight and a half by 11 type of binder and this one is from bloom planners which is obviously one of my favorite planners i always talk about them but this one doesn't come with any planner pages in it they simply just make the binder they sell it they just assume you're going to put your own pages in and do whatever you want with it which is totally fine and it also has a standard three ring binder now this is a i believe a one inch binder 
if you go to Staples or Office Depot, you'll see them in two inches, four inches, whatever. They're huge, they could be massive. Um, and again, they have different shapes. Sometimes they have a uh, slant so that the pages in theory all lay a little bit flatter and the coil binding doesn't catch as much or get ruined as easily because they do tend to be very fragile because they get pushed on inside of your bag. So again, something to think about. I do think though that this is a great option to add to your planner line uh, if you're looking to expand and offer people some more solutions. So let's go through some of this. So just so you know, this was $60 and obviously it just came out so it's not discounted and it was an 18 month planner so the pages all came with it but I did have to put the pages in myself. Obviously, um, or hopefully this is obvious to you, putting the pages into these binder planners is not something that you would actually do for people. Franklin Covey, everybody who creates these binder systems, the pages arrive separately and they're shrink wrapped. You open them up and then you place them in yourself. And the reason for that is because these are usually produced by two different manufacturers and the pages, you want to make sure that this binder system kind of, this binder stands alone and that people can order whatever pages they want, right? So the nice thing about having a binder system is you can make a ton of different types of inserts, whether you're making a planner for a fitness tracker or you're making a planner for back to school or for the, uh, the calendar year or an undated one. Either way, it doesn't matter. Everyone can order the same binder exterior and then the pages are different that it ships with. So it does have that flexibility. All right, so let's just move on to the other cool stuff that I got from Erin Condren, and maybe we'll just do the unboxing, but I'll just flip through these really quick so you can see the prices. So I got two of their folders, just because I like having paper and sticking them in folders in my bag so they're protected. This was kind of cute. It did come in the pocket folder. It's just an annual, again, something cute that you could add as an additional item to your planners. And I also received these, uh, I think they're called Love, no, Love Out Loud stickers and they're silver and they're clear and these were $4.50 and that's just because I write romance so I could put those into a book bible or series bible. This one was $15.50. I really wanted a different sticker book but they were out. Uh, so this is I think book four. It's still cute. I really love it and I got markers. Now these markers were a huge disappointment only because they look like they were going to be purple but you'll see in the pen test they're actually blue. However, um, I still like the fact that they're two-sided where they have a thick side on one side and a fine tip on the other. So this was genius. So instead of offering a pink, a blue, a red, like what most people are doing, she offered color packets. And so each of these packets are $15.50 and I believe she had eight or 10, I'm not even sure how many colors, but if you wanted to buy all of the pens together, it was $75, which you might do because you're maybe just someone like me who loves lots of colors. But I did restrain myself and only purchased one. So let's take a look inside at what you get. Um, but that's kind of the end of the video. Just wanted to throw out some ideas for you there if you are looking to expand your planner line and try to offer the same type of material, but in a different format. And I do believe binder systems and the ARC systems are growing in popularity if one of those two or both are a direction that you would like to move in. It arrived in its normal, beautifully branded Erin Condren box. So let's just open it up and see what we have inside. Now you do get your normal sticker, the little scallops that say to and from. You get your cute little postcard. And this I believe is new. I got this in the last one and it is her newsletter. And it's in the form of a big thing of paper, of like a newspaper. So uh, that's new, very cool, beautiful magazine layout, nice and colorful. And it's also labeled summer 2019. So I, you can probably expect to get this in your box for quite a while. All right, so we have the enjoy. So we have tissue paper, we have bubble wrap, just like it always does. So let's just pull all of these out so we can see all of them. All right, so these are lined sticky notes. So 
I actually think this is very useful, even though it's very thin, because uh, they're very nondescript and you can pop them in. I did order these separate just because purple is one of my colors for branding for my author site. Uh, so I wanted to use all of these. And I did not order this. This just came free. Love to plan. So it's a little charm and I guess it can go on your keychain. All right, here's the big thing that we've all been waiting for that I ordered. And that is the Erin Condren new binder. So it's the Kaleidoscope Binder, and it comes shrink-wrapped in this plastic, and let's see. So it looks like it has a lot of paper or cardboard in here just to protect the ring binders and the internal side, and then it has a ruler as well as all of your pages right here. So this is, I'm assuming these are all the pages that you would normally get inside of the regular spiral bound one, but these are in plastic and they're loose leaf. And so the nice thing about this and the binder is that you can kind of pick and choose what you want to put in here and if you want to take things out so it's not so bulky and you can just put half of the pages in. The only problem with this though is that uh, this is a very odd shape, right? Like there's two, four, and two. And I know other people were complaining about that. And I don't know that I'm complaining. I mean, I think it's a really cute design. It's just really hard to uh, find pages that are exactly the size if you want to just kind of print something out and go. So for example, the binder from the um, from pretty much anybody is usually an eight and a half by 11 and it's three hole punch. So that makes it very easy and very durable and very flexible to you for you to just kind of use at home on your own. Pop in all of these months. So this is a lot of months. This is a 2019 through 2020 planner. So that's a lot of dates to put into one planner. Okay, so we have this beautiful kaleidoscope design on the front and over here on the back, as well as her logo right here on the back. And when you open it up, again, um, it's kind of hard because it spilled so heavily. So this goes 2019 through 2020. Looks like it kind of follows the same format. You get a, an annual layout, you get some just blank boxes, blank page, and then you get your first tab divider, which is July. And you can put birthdays, goals for the month. You get a two-page monthly spread. And I know this is hard. It's not laying flat. And then you're going to get a... Um, I chose this vertical layout. Remember, you could choose the vertical layout with times, or you could choose a vertical layout or horizontal layout, which... I feel is pretty worthless. Again, it's really hard because there's a huge cliff over here because this, pa this paper stack is so thick. Um, so when you write at the edge, it's really hard. But I guess if you wanted, you could, in theory, October, November, December, you could take everything out past December and just have these pages in here for the year. Um, or I guess you could just leave it on your desk and never, never carry it with you anywhere. So the dates have these cute little kaleidoscopes. This is just blue. I did say to have it colored. Um, so, you know, with rainbows versus there was an option to not get any colors. So it looks like the only colors that they put are, um, the, the colorful parts are here and then it looks like there's one color per month so august is yellow if we flip to november that is blue again and december is green 
and January is a, I think, teal again. February is going to be pink. March is going to be green. April is going to be purple. May is going to be peach. June is going to be green. July is going to be blue. August is going to be yellow. September is going to be purple. October is going to be orange. And November is going to be a lighter teal. And December is going to be green. And then you get a note section right here at the back. Um, and then you have, I think just, well, <laughs> Don't get too excited, you have one page. And then you have some dot grid with some of those kaleidoscope decorations for one, two pages. And then it looks like you have coloring pages. And then you have the hexagon shapes and you have contact information. But again, don't get too excited, you just have one page. Although I still think these are ridiculous because everyone keeps their contacts in their phone. Uh, you have 2021, which is the year after. You get a page of stickers. And you get another page of stickers and three and four pages of stickers. And then you get this back little pocket folder because there is no folder on the actual cover. And inside here you get celebrate everyone or something every day perpetual calendar. And this just has all of the dates in here in a vertical format, if you can see that. So this is your whole year and it's undated so it doesn't matter if it's 2019 or 2020 or 2025. Again, that silly contact sheet, passwords, and holidays and dates. All right, so this is the new binder. I actually really like it. I, I don't have a problem at all with the hole punch. I wonder if on her site you can purchase a hole punch that has this many holes but even if you did honestly this is such an odd shaped piece of paper that I don't know that you're going to print something and have it shaped this way oh I should mention it has a really nice vellum uh, sheet right here in the front that goes over there to help cinch that design so you can see it doesn't really close because it's so full so let's try my idea which is just going to December and then worrying about 2020 later so if we took all of this out except of course our notes section and our beloved stickers and of course our contacts because in case I need to use a rotary phone <laughs> um, all right so now it's much thinner and I got rid of all of this, which is basically the entire 2020 year. Let's see, we have to pull it down so it doesn't stick on the edge. And now it shuts closed. So that's not true. It does not shut closed. It still kind of is open because that ring binder is so large. But that's okay. All right, so let's see what else we got because I did order a couple other things. I got some stickers. They were the Love Out Loud stickers because I'm a romance author, so I just thought these were cute. They're kind of illegible because they're sparkly. They're like extra, extra sparkly. All right, these are, oh, that's not my fault. That's not my fault. They're clear stickers. That's why they're hard to read. Uh, so they should go on something that's colored. Now, I got the designer sticker book. I didn't actually, this is the wrong one. There was another one that I really wanted but they were sold out. They were so popular, but these were still cute. So let's just open these up, see what's inside. So designer sticker, here we go. Plan for tomorrow, celebrate today. So this is sticker edition number four. Oh, all right. And each of these pages are going to fall out any second. So the <laughs> glue on the side isn't too strong, um, but I'm really excited. I just, I thought these were cute. And I do like having stickers. Oh, and these are very, very bright, like super pretty bright. Um, and then we go back to the regular pastel -y colors, more super bright, back to pastel. Oh, let's see, it's coming out. Um, and then it's just some cute phrases. And that's it. So that was it. I got one more thing. I got a folder just to see what that was like. I have a lot of loose papers. I don't know if you guys do. So I usually put them in three ring binders, but I thought I would try a folder because sometimes when I go to co-work, I don't want to carry a whole three ring binder. So it says beautiful minds inspire others. 
and you have these cute little scallops over here. So this is different. So these are open instead of being closed. So you could maybe fit extra paper in there. Has the Erin Condren logo in the back and silver foiling. And actually you got two. So motivation comes from within and beautiful minds inspire others. And they're both watercolor. Same thing, the scallop on the inside and the logo over here on the back. And if you wanna see a pen test, we'll check out these new pretty purple pens. So from left to right, we have this dark purple. We have like a chartreuse purple. Is that even a kind of color? <laughs> it's like more like a hot pink. Uh, that's interesting because the cover, this looks way darker. This kind of looks blue. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, this looks like it might be a light pink or purple. It's really more like a light blue. And this looks like it might be a light, this is actually a light purple. It's the only real one that's a light purple. Looks like it might be a light pink. And it's basically the same color as this one. So if you're wondering, these two are basically the same color, even though the outside looks very different. Um, these two over here are not purple at all. They're blue. <laughs> and uh, these two are the only real purples over here. In case you're thinking about getting this purple colorful dual tip pen set, um, you're actually buying blue and pink and then just two purples.